Hi there. In this screencast, we'll be looking at interest on overdue accounts, applying finance charges, and then running statements. So to add interest, we choose Edit, Preferences, Finance Charge, Company Preferences, and we're going to charge 10% annual interest, uh, only if it's larger than $5 and we'll give a grace period of 30 days and we'll use interest income as our um, finance charge account and we'll calculate from the due date and she's okay now that we've added our overdue account settings we can assess finance charges for those uh, customers who um, have old invoices so if you choose your finance charges here, I'm just going to unmark all, and I want to look at all everything that's overdue as of May 15th, 2016. And I'm just going to assess them for car and dub high, but you could assess them for everybody at the same time. So 34, 36 on their overdue amount, and 23, 18 on theirs, and I'll choose assess charges. So if I look at my customer center and look at, for example, car, this is the transaction that gets created. So now um, they owe us a little more than they expect, so now we want to send them a statement so that we can collect what they owe us. So that's statements. And we're going to say as at May 15th. 2016 and I just want them for car and dub high and I can choose OK and if you choose preview there's your statement there and I can also email those out so I'm just going to add my own email address so it gets emailed to me. As well as from me. So I'll create those and we can see what they look like. Again, I'm emailing them to myself so we can see them. And I'll choose OK. And I'll take a look at my inbox here. And here's my statement. So you can email directly from QuickBooks. And I'm done with my statements. I choose close. Uh, so that's um, customer statements, interest in, on overdue accounts, and applying those finance charges. Thanks so much for watching.